Hello, welcome to another video by Moxa Marine. In this video, I'm tearing down a Mercruiser 4.3 V6, which I'll explain in a second. But I'm coming to you from my bright porch because my uh, workshop is full of engines. I have no more room in there to tear this one down. So, um, this engine is a 4.3 V6 that I pulled out of a boat a few months ago and I uh, didn't really think much about it, but I just put it in uh, storage until I needed parts off of it. Um, I'd already had a core engine, which I had a block heads and cranks, I had those machined. To replace this engine. So this was pulled out of a boat and uh, I decided, uh, I realized I needed the camshaft, the marine camshaft out of it. So I came to, I got the motor out of storage and brought it to my shop or brought it to my, uh, this uh, workplace here. And uh, as I was starting to tear it down, I started to notice some weird things about it. So the first thing I noticed was that the oil pan was cast aluminum, wasn't painted black like most, all the Mercury's I've seen before. That was the first sign. Then the front had a, uh, let's see, let me see if I can show you the harmonic balancer. Um, let's see, I don't see the balancer, but um, anyway. Yeah, it is right here. So here's the balancer. Um, and that is a truck balancer. That is not a marine. That's, I've never seen that on a marine application. And I have seen those on truck cores that I've taken apart. And then the uh, final giveaway was the... Uh, as I got parts off of it, you notice it's got the marine uh, motor mounts. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, tell you what, let me start this uh, camera over with uh, with the floodlight or the uh, flash on. Okay, now um, now we've got the flash on. You can see that the core plug is not brass. That is a steel core plug. So what's going on here is that the the customer has bought a boat. That somebody has replaced the marine engine and put a truck core engine or put a truck engine in its place without converting it to a marine application. Um, I would never do this, um, but somebody uh, has uh, replaced the motor in that boat with a truck core. So that's how you, those are the three things you can identify a truck core. The oil pan is not painted black and it looks to be like it's a different oil pan altogether. I think the marine uh, versions are not as deep and maybe further out this way and come up here best I can remember. I may be wrong about that. I'm going to double check that. I'll let you know in the description. Um, and then the, uh, again, the, the core plugs are supposed to be brass. They're not. They're steel. So this came out of the truck. And when I take this engine down, I'm going to go ahead and knock these plugs out and see how far gone they were, see if they're about to rust through. Um, and then, like I said, the uh, harmonic balancer was a truck balancer, not a marine balancer. So if you find an engine like this in your boat, then you've been had. Somebody's put a truck engine in your boat and it needs to be converted over to marine application. At the very least, you need to replace these core plugs with brass, otherwise it's gonna rust through and dump all the water out of your boat when you're not expecting it. And it'll overheat and blow your motor up and you won't even know what's happening. Your bills will fill out water too. So I um, just wanna let you know that uh, you can put a truck engine in a boat, but you have to convert it to a marine first. All right, before in this video on this uh, truck engine and a boat, um, there's the mystery of the missing shot rag. So apparently the last mechanic that worked on this engine um, lost a shot rag. And it looks to me like he left it in the bottom of the bilge and the bilge filled up with water or something. And so the shot rag got sucked up inside the, uh, it got sucked up down here beside the starter and got pulled up here behind the flywheel. And there's the missing shot rag. It's all gooped up and ripped to shreds behind the fly. The, behind the flywheel. So, uh, very, uh, I've never come across this before, but that's just sloppy mechanic work. But I thought this was inter interesting to see. Um, as a matter of fact, we found blue lint, blue, it's almost like blue dry lint all in the builds of this boat everywhere. So, that's where it, this is the majority of it right here. It got shredded and then it floated free into the build. It went everywhere. Just thought you'd like to see that. So, thanks for watching.